many so, students were killed. Angry. I'm very angry. It was a full-blown war. They were basically like robots. Psychologist Phil Zimbardo wanted to explore just what normal people are capable of. I grew up in poverty. In those days, many, many children developed contagious diseases. If I close my eyes, I see a big, big hospital ward, hundreds of beds. And of course, I close my eyes, listen, children are crying. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says it was victimized. Victims of a hoax by environmental activists. Is a challenge for climate change. It seems like a good first step. So next up, hoax is about poverty, violence, Education. Hunger. And as it says, American free enterprise dream big, but their dreams are our nightmares. But I can go over, right, and look. And it's not too illegal, is it? OK. And are you coming, too? I was a child in 89 when there was this great concert of yours. Girl, children. <laughs> <laughs> I was the girl on the other side of the wall. It looks like we believed in those days that everything is going to be much better, right? But nowadays the walls are rebuilt. Do you think the music can address this? No, human beings can address it. It's nothing specific to music. And so, if you're a musician, you can, you can be Justin Bieber or you can be me. It's a question of temperament and intellect and heart. You can either be interested in bubblegum or you can be interested in something. I'm just interested in, in other things. The uh, local conservationists, several miles long, of billion dollar worth of land, waterfront, now being free all along. A construction company can make more money, and maybe the politician can get a few little more kickbacks somehow. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll work it out. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And then suddenly I realized the doctors can't help me, my parents can't help me. Uh, I have to help myself. Yeah. Two, one, jump! Wait, you're going there? <laughs> <laughs>